Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. And I thought tonight's show, uh, I thought I thought it fucking sucked in my opinion. Uh, it was very boring, my my opinion. Uh, the show wasn't live. Uh, they taped Raw earlier today because they were overseas. They were in uh, London and the United Kingdom. So Raw uh, was taped tonight, and SmackDown is going to be also taped. Uh, tomorrow night, you know, tomorrow uh, for it to air tomorrow night. So, uh, pretty much when WWE goes overseas, you know, uh, probably 90% of the time, uh, you know, the show is going to, you know, suck because, you know, some of the superstars aren't there. You know, Kurt Angle uh, wasn't even here tonight. Uh, Stephanie McMahon wasn't there tonight. Uh, so, yeah, so pretty much 90% of the time when they go overseas and, you know, they tape Raw or SmackDown, you know that, you know, some of the times it's going to suck. The show's going to suck. So, but uh, anyways, the show opened with uh, Dean Ambrose backstage. He gets a call. He gets a phone call and, you know, it's Kurt Angle on the phone. You know, Kurt calls him. He's talk. you know, he's, Ambrose is talking to him and, you know, I guess, you know, Kirk got cut off, you know, when Ambrose was uh, talking to him. And then uh, you have Dean Ambrose coming out for a special announcement. And his announcement is, is that he's going to guess, you know, he's going to be the guest, you know, co-GM for Raw tonight. And, you know, the co-acting GM for Raw tonight. And then out comes Miz and Maurice. Um, Miz is not happy that Ambrose is, you know, the guest GM. And he says that Raw will be chaos tonight. And uh, Miz goes on to say that he got a phone call from Stephanie McMahon. And uh, I guess she told Miz that, you know, Miz is going to be, you know, the co-acting GM. And so both Ambrose and Miz are running uh, Raw tonight. And Ambrose says that at Extreme Rules, he's going to beat Miz and still walk out the Intercontinental Champion. Braun Strowman ends up coming out and returning. You know, from his uh, you know, the injury, and uh, he says that uh, he doesn't care who's in charge, and he just wants to, to get you know what he wants. You know, he just wants uh, Roman Reigns, and he goes on to say that he's not finished with Roman, and when his arm heals, he's going to destroy Roman Reigns, and then when he's done, you know, destroying uh, Roman, he wants to take on Brock Lesnar, and then. Kalisto ends up coming out, saying that he's not done with with Strowman, and that he wants you know a fight with him tonight. Uh, Strowman says he could beat uh, Kalisto with one arm, and then Ambrose uh, ends up making a match, saying that Braun will take on Kalisto uh, tonight with only one arm. And then, uh, of course, uh, Ambrose makes a match for uh, next, and it will be uh it was Miz versus Finn Balor. Uh, you know, okay segment. And uh, next, and then the first match was of course uh, Finn Balor versus The Miz. Uh, it was okay. Uh, it was long, though. But uh, you know, you had uh Miz walk out and say, "Oh, I'm not, you know, having this match, you know, because uh, you know, Maurice got involved." And so out comes Ambrose and says, oh, that's not how we play it. So he restarts the match. And Finn Balor ends up coming up to the ramp and then taking out uh, Miz. And pretty much Finn Balor uh, just dominated through this entire match. You know, taking out, um, you know, taking out Miz. So, and then, you know, at the end of the match, Finn Balor got the win with the coup de grace on uh, Miz. So Finn Balor wins the match. Overall, it was okay, okay match. Then after that, we had Alexa Bliss. Was we saw Alexa Bliss in the locker room. Nia Jax walks in and says that you know after Alexa is finished with Bailey, uh, Nia is you know gonna come for the for the World Women's Title, and she says that you know Nia says that you know Alexa has a new friend. Pretty much, I think. Uh, you know, Nia's just setting up Alexa, you know, you know, just Nia won the, uh, the Raw Women's title, 
you know, she's gonna, you know, now you want to take the World Wounds title from Alexa. So that's pretty much how the way, you know, I probably see it. But uh, knowing that, it probably won't happen. WWE is not going to probably do that. Uh, you know, maybe because one of them has to turn face, though. And pretty much, I have to say, Alexa is probably going to turn face if they go ahead with the idea of Alexa versus Nia for the title. But who knows? It's WWE. Who knows what they'll do? And the next match was Alexa Bliss versus Mickey James. Eh, it was a meh kind of match, boring. Uh, didn't care for it. I mean, it was you know it was good seeing Alexa, you know, in the ring during the match. You just had uh, Nia and Bailey down there, uh, just watching the match. Then uh, just Alexa just won the match, defeating Mickey James. Then after the match, Alexa, you know beat on uh, Mickey James uh, and then Bailey just chased Alexa to the back and then it was only Nia Jax in the ring and she just takes out uh, Mickey just flattens Mickey and elbows uh, Mickey so all in all it was a meh match kind of boring and then we had Dean Ambrose and the Miz uh, in the in the in their office uh, you know, going over what they want tonight. You know, what, you know, they want to put on Raw tonight. Miz says he scheduled Miz TV. And, you know, he was like, the crowd loves Miz TV. And then they all started booing. And then Miz makes a match for tonight. Saying that Dean will take on Bray Wyatt. So it was a, yeah, kind of segment. Then Samoa Joe was being interviewed. Uh, talking about Seth Rollins. And then... You know, from out of nowhere, Rollins just, t you know, just attacks Joe and they both go at it backstage. You know, you had, uh, you know, them pick up a ladder. So, it was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty decent brawl between Rollins and Joe backstage. Then the next match was Braun, was Braun Strowman versus Kalisto. Uh, really wasn't a match, uh, because... Uh, Braun gets on the mic and says that he's not accepting the face Kalisto tonight because he's injured. And then, you know, the bell rings and just Braun Strowman just starts beating the hell out of Kalisto. So it wasn't really a match. Then Roman Reigns ends up coming out. He hits three Superman punches on Strowman. And he goes right for uh, Strowman's arm. And then... Braun then just hits Roman with a big boot outside of the ring. And, you know, they just continue brawling. Uh, Roman then picks up a chair. And he hits the chair on, you know, to the injured arm of Strowman. So, it was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty uh, decent brawl. It's a pretty good brawl. I like how the way, uh, you know, I like this feud between Strowman and, uh, and uh, Roman. So this is a pretty good uh this is a pretty good feud that I'm really enjoying. So it was a pretty good brawl uh, from both uh, Strowman and uh, Roman. Then we have uh, our truth and Goldust in the locker room. Uh, Goldust says the truth, you know, if, you know if he's ready for the uh, the tag team turmoil uh, that was happening next, you know, and they say. You know that they're gonna prove that they could win a match and prove that they are not losers. So it was a short little uh, segment. And next was the uh, the tag team uh, turmoil uh, match. Uh, the first was Sheamus and Cesaro versus Enzo and Big Cass. Uh, it was you know okay. It was just you know Sheamus and Cesaro just dominating over Enzo and Big Cass. Uh, they won the match. Uh, because Cesaro hit the, uh, the, the shark, you know, got put the shark shooter on Enzo. So, yeah, so Seamus and Cesaro, Cesaro won the first one. Uh, next, they faced uh, Heat Slater and Rhino. Uh, Seamus hit the bro kick to Heat Slater. And then they faced Gallows and Anderson. Uh, Seamus just hit the bro kick to uh, Luke Gallows. And then it was them versus uh, Goldust and R-Truth, you know, Golden Truth. And uh, 
it was, uh, and you know, Seamus and Cesaro won the match, and uh, both of them are now the number one contenders for the Raw Tech Team titles. They will face the Hardys. And after the match, you just had uh, both of them, Seamus and Cesaro, taking out Golden Truth. Uh, the Hardys end up coming out, and they, you know, they both come in the ring, and then just Seamus and Cesaro just retrieve out of the ring one, nothing to do with them. Hey, it was pretty predictable that I, I even knew that Shame and Cesaro were gonna win uh all four of the uh all four of the uh the tag team turmoil, you know, facing all of them. So But all in all it was you know, it was all right, uh all right matches. So but and then the next match was Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. Uh, it was pretty, it was a good match, but disappointing end uh, because he had uh, Joe pick up uh, Rollins in a point in the match. Uh, Rollins uh, took off one of the turnbuckles. Uh, just Joe just uh, just tossed uh, Rollins into the turnbuckle, you know, the exposed turnbuckle. Uh, the ref was like, oh, don't you do it. Don't, you know, don't, you know, throw Rollins into the uh the exposed turnbuckle and Joe does, you know, Rollins goes head first into the exposed turnbuckle, which causes the ref to disqualify uh, Joe. So Seth Rollins actually uh, won the match by disqualification. And then after the match, he just had uh, Joe take out, you know, Seth. He threw Seth right into the uh, the exposed turnbuckle once again and then just hooked the coquina clutch on Seth. So. But it was a pretty good match up until that, you know, that little happening. Then the next match was uh, TJ Perkins, or as he's now calling, or they're now calling him, you know, TJP. So, so yeah, TJP versus Jack Alher. Uh, Neville was on commentary through the match. It was, eh, it was a, not that good of a match. Uh, just you got T.J. Perkins win the match with just a roll up on Jack Gallagher. Then after the match, you had uh, Perkins take out Gallagher and put him in the knee bar, just like what he did to uh, Austin Aries uh, last week. Then after that, you just had Aries just take out uh, Perkins. So all in all, it was not that good of a match. Then it was Sasha Banks versus Alicia Fox. Uh, pretty fast match. Uh, not that not that good of a match. It was just it felt like it was just thrown together uh, for the show. Uh, Sasha Banks uh, beat Alicia Fox uh, with the roll up. You know because she jumped because Sasha jumped from the uh, the top rope and then just pinned Alicia. So. Easy win for Sasha. And then next match was the main event: Bray Wyatt versus Dean Ambrose. Uh, okay, decent uh, main event. Uh, it was entertaining uh, by both of them. Uh, fortunately, uh, Miz and M Miz was on commentary along with Maurice. Uh, he had uh, Miz come down to the ring. You know, you know, coming down. Uh, trying to distract Ambrose. Uh, at one point, you know, almost at the end of the match, you just had, you know, the ref uh, being distracted by uh, Bray Wyatt. And then from out of nowhere, Miz just takes the the Intercontinental title, hits Ambrose in the back, uh, you know, hits Ambrose in the back of it. And then it gave the advantage of uh, Bray hitting Sister Abigail on Dean Ambrose t to score the win. So Bray Wyatt ends up winning the match. Then after the match, Miz starts beating the hell out of Ambrose. And Miz goes on to say that after next week, uh, when he beats him and, you know, he wins the Intercontinental title, the world will look at him and, you know, as the Intercontinental champion and say that, you know, he's awesome. Because, <coughs> excuse me, because uh, they announced uh, during the show before the main event that uh, Ambrose... Was going to is going to take on Miz next week on Raw uh, for the Intercontinental title, and next week's Raw is going to be in Jersey. So I'm expecting that crowd to be uh, 
that crowd to be pretty good, be pretty hot. Because, uh, you know, uh, the Jersey crowd, you know, they, they're they a pretty good crowd. You know, like what we saw the uh, the night after uh, WrestleMania 29, uh, you know, that crowd was literally the best crowd, uh, you know, the best Jersey crowd uh, that, you know, that they had for that Raw uh, back, you know, the, you know, the Raw after uh, WrestleMania 29. So... But uh, all in all, Bray Wyatt versus Dean Ambrose uh, was a good, decent match. Uh, so, but yeah, so anyways, that's it for my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow, back tomorrow night for my SmackDown review. Uh, hopefully, I I hope that's, you know, it's going to be a good show tomorrow, even though it's going to be taped and aired uh, later. So... But hopefully it's SmackDown's a good show tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. So yeah, so until uh, tomorrow night uh, for my SmackDown review, I'll see you all later. Bye.